Let's take a look at scatter graphs. All of these questions are non-calculated, by the way. So question one is all about correlation. Now, correlation all depends on whether or not you can draw in a line of best fit and uh, whether that line of best fit is going up or going down and how close the dots are to that line of best fit. If I were to draw a line of best fit here, it would be something along the lines of that. Um, and as you can see, all the dots are very close to the line, so there is definitely correlation, and the line is going up to here. This is an example of positive correlation. B is quite similar to A, except the dots are going down, so the line of best fit would be going downwards, so therefore that is showing that there is negative correlation. But in C, these dots are scattered almost randomly, um, so it's impossible to do a line of best fit. I mean, if I were to do a line of best fit, I'm not sure what it would look like, something like that, but a lot of the, I mean, most of the dots are miles off that line, so there, there is no correlation at all. Question number two, we need to draw in a line of best fit. Now, the line of best fit I'm about to draw is, uh, might not be exactly the same as yours, but that might not mean that mine's right and yours is wrong. Um, if I ask 10 people to do the line of best fit, it could be that 10 people produce 10 slightly different lines and they might all be fine. Basically, all we want to do is draw a line that cuts through the middle of the dots, um, trying to keep as many of the dots as close as possible to the line as you can. So it might be, again, it's a lot easier if you're actually using a ruler, which I'm not. So something along those lines. Obviously yours will be a perfectly straight line. Mine's a little bit wiggly there. Uh, for B, um, again, a similar thing. We're just drawing a line that cuts through. Again, it should be a straight line. Don't worry about touching points. You're just trying to go through just a line that just goes all the way through the middle of them, really. Um, so something like that. So for question number three, we just need to plot a graph for this information here. So we can see we've got latitude along the bottom. Here's our latitude row and temperature at the side. So a latitude of 33 is a temperature of 17. So 33, there's 30, 31, 32, 33. And we're going up to 17, which is a bit of a fiddle because um, we can see we're going up in twos here. So 33 is three across and 17 is uh, going to be between approximately there. So that's that one done. 2318. So there's 23. And unfortunately, there's a, a lot of plot uh, points that we need to plot. And the graph paper is kind of awkward because it's not properly square. The boxes are quite big. And also, you've got the issue of having to plot in between. It's a bit of guesswork here. Um, so makes it a little bit of a challenge. So five to tw 28, that's easy enough. That's bang on there. Uh, 41, 14, so there's my 41, 10, 12, 14. Zero, 33, or zero is easy enough, and 33, there's 32, there's 34, so 33 is gonna be in the middle. 24, 19, so there's 24, and 19 is between 18 and 20, so pretty close to that dot. 34, 16, there's 34, there's 10, 12, 14, 16. Again, a lot of these dots are very close together. 14, 25, there's my 14, there's 20, 30, so it's halfway between 20 and 30, so pretty much there. And 18, 23, uh, 18 is too short of 20, of course, and we're going up to 23. There's 20, 22, so there's 24, so 23 will be in the middle. And 10, 27, there's 10, there's 20, 22, 24, 26, there's 27. Okay, right, so uh, we've plotted them on the scatter graph, and we need to now do the thing I dread the most um, when I'm doing these videos is the line of best fit. Now the line of best fit uh, varies from person to person. If I ask five people to do a line of best fit, they might all have a different line and they might all be fine. Just draw a line that goes through as many of the dots as possible, trying to keep as close to the dots as possible. Uh, so one straight line. So the line of best fit will be something along those lines, except it will be straight because you're using a pencil and a ruler. Very difficult for me to do it accurately with my graphics tablet here. So now we're gonna use the line of best fit. Now, admittedly, mine's a little bit on the dodgy side. 
uh, we're going to use the line of best fit to work out other values um, that haven't been plotted. So for a city with a latitude of 20, so here's 20, estimate, so it's not exact, estimate the average daily temperature. So here's a latitude of 20. We're going to go up to the line. Now bearing in mind this, my line isn't straight, but actually it does hit a, an exact value, which is kind of nice. Um, so that correlates to 22 degrees Celsius. Um, now usually in exams there's a bit of leeway because people do draw different lines of best fit um, and we don't always get exact values so sometimes a range, a small range is accepted. Uh, and now we want to estimate the latitude of a city with an average daily temperature of 20. So we're going to do a similar thing except this time we're going to go um, up the side to uh, 20 degrees and this time we'll again do exactly the same thing, go across to the line and again this is where my line kind of went a bit wonky uh, but we'll just take a reading about there so there's 20 21 22 23 so that will be 23 degrees north again perhaps the mark scheme might say 24 you would have hopefully drawn a better line of best fit due to using a pencil and ruler but as i say the mark schemes usually allow for a, a slight bit of fluctuation there Question four, we need to do another um, scatter graph. So we've got uh, distance from station along the bottom, monthly rent up the side. So eight and nine is 400. So eight, 400, nine, 400, seven, 460, seven, 420, 40, 60. Five is 800. Three is 750. 1 is 900, 5 is 450, 6 is 640, 6 is also 550, and 9 is 310. Okay, so now we need to draw in a line of best fit. Again, it's quite tricky thing to do but especially if you don't have a ruler uh, but make sure you do do your line of best fit with a ruler so I'm just doing a line that cuts through the middle of as many of these dots as possible that's not the worst I could have done um, yours might look slightly different perhaps this line should be slightly you know lower here just to uh, kind of get these dots a bit close to the line but something along those lines will do um, this is this is the line of best fit um, actually, it's not, not too different from, from what I've done really, except it's a lot straighter. Now, using this, uh, this line of best fit, we're going to use this to estimate um, other uh, data points. So for a house that is four kilometers from the station, estimate the monthly rent. Well, four kilometers from the station is here. So we're going to go up to the, the line and see that that equates to 700 pounds as an estimate. And for a house with a monthly rent of 500, so let's find 500 pounds, and that goes to this point here. And I would say, well, let's just, I'm not gonna argue what, as to whether that should be, you know, 6.9 kilometers, let's just call that seven kilometers since it's just an estimate. Okay, finally, question number five, we need to draw another scatter graph and um, unfortunately another line of best fit. So we've got depth of water along the bottom, height of flower up the side. So depth of water zero is a height of 0 0.2. So yeah, this is really not particularly pleasant because of the scale. We know that this is one, two, three, four, five, and we want to point plot a 0 0.2. Well. We're just going to have to guess. I mean, they might as well have written just a zero rather than 0 0.2. It's not really going to make a, a lot of difference here. 3.7. Uh, so 3.7 is 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6. So 3.7 is going to be here. And that corresponds to 12.7. So 10, uh, 11, 12, 13, 13. So it will be a, about here. So there's a bit of guessing going on here. Um, 3.5 so is going to be um, here and that is 12.9 so 10 11 12.9 a little bit closer 
0 0.6 is uh, 4, so 0 0.6 would be 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6. So this line here, and that is exactly 4. 2.3 is 8.3, so 2.2, 2 2.3, and that goes to 8.3. 5, 6, 7, 8, and a tiny bit more for the point 3. 0 0.8 and 4, or point 0.8 is here, and 4 is precisely there. 1.2, 7.4, 1.2, 6, 7, so it's just short of 7.5, so about there. 1.8, which is here, and 6.9, 5, 6, that's practically 7, isn't it? So that will go there. Uh, 1.5 and 6.3. 1.5 is here. 6.3, there's 6, so a little bit above that. And 2.7, uh, so there's 2.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.7 is here. And we're going up to 10.7. Well, there's 10, there's 11, so about there. Um, so I wouldn't be stressing too much about the uh, exact tenth of a centimetre, as long as you're, you know, roughly in the right place, you should be fine. And now we need to draw in a line of best fit, a line that goes through the centre of these dots. Uh, again, that's a pretty awful one because it curls a little bit, but it should be a straight line, but something something like that anyway. Uh, this is what the actual line of best fit should look like. So, you know, not too far off what I was trying to draw. And we want to estimate how tall a flower will grow when given three inches of water. Well, if it's given three inches of water, it would be here. And that would correspond with this point here, which we'll say is, I mean, I'm not going to guess that that is a point whatever. This is 10. This is 11. That might be 11.1, 11.2. Let's just call it 11. I'm sure that will be absolutely fine. Um, estimate how much water has been given to a flower of height 7. So 5, 6, 7 would be this point here. And this is going to be uh, not a lot of fun here. So 1, 1 1.2, 1.4, 1 1.6, and between 1.6 and 1.8. Why don't we just simply call that 1.7 um, inches of water? Um, again, the March scheme should have a range of uh, answers. So I, don't, I wouldn't be concerned if you didn't get exactly 11 and exactly 1.7, many reasons why. First of all, your, your dots might not be positioned exactly as they've been positioned here. And secondly, your line of best fit might, might not be exactly in the, in, in the exact position of this line of best fit. But something vaguely close to that will be absolutely fine, I'm sure.